Okay, so the void truncated icosid dodecahedron, or VTI for short, I'll just call it VTI from now on because uh, void truncated icosid dodecahedron is a bit of a mouthful. But as you can see, it's now assembled and it's uh, it's been stickered. Um, assembling it, it wasn't too difficult really. Mo you know, for, for for the most part, it was quite easy. It was just when I got towards the end where it became very tricky, you know, fitting the last few pieces in. Um, as for the stickering, I did try to go for a gradient effect at first, but it didn't really work out. So I decided to take all the stickers off the puzzle carefully, and then put them back on, back onto the puzzle, but like um, just random colours in random places. So uh, I'll give you a nice close-up look at this. Personally, I, I do think this like random colour scheme does look better than the um, the gradient colour scheme. I think some I think certain puzzles suit gradient colour schemes better than random colour schemes, and I think other um, puzzles like this one suit random colour schemes better than gradient ones. So I've got all sorts of different colours on this, all sorts of different shades. Um, and I'll give you a close-up look at the inside of this. You can see there's many, many screws in this puzzle. So after assembling this, um, uh, these two there's three types of phases. You've got these ones, these ones, and these ones. Now these two types of phases, for the most part, um, they turned quite well. Let me just try and demonstrate. You do have to have things lined up. Okay, usually they do turn quite well. Let's try another one. Um, okay, so as you can see, you can. I mean, these faces you can either turn them like this using the screws um, on the back of it as a grip, or you can just turn it like this. You just put your finger through it, hook your finger around, and it should turn. Um, so yeah, for, so for the most part. <coughs> These types of faces and these types of faces, they turned okay. Um, but these big faces, they were really, really stiff and they'd lock up a lot as well. And um, so I basically, basically the way I turn them is like this. And because they were so stiff and because they'd lock up, it was putting a lot of pressure on my finger there and a lot of pressure on my finger there and ended up with, um, with blisters. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, it's kind of healed now, but I had a blister there, and um, a blister there on that finger. So yeah, my fingers ended up quite sore. Um, I didn't think um, lube would improve the puzzle that much, because these big faces, they were so stiff and they locked up so much that I thought, you know, I can't see, I can't really see lube um, improving them enough. But I ended up using um, a few drops of Maru lube anyway, so I put like three drops in just kind of random places on the inside of the of the face, and then three drops on the outside of the face. And uh, surprisingly, the difference was like night and day. Um, as soon as I just kind of wiggled it a bit and worked things in, it just suddenly became effortless to move. Um, so I've done that on all of these big faces now, and um, most of them do turn really well, like this one. Um, you don't have to use much pressure at all. See, this one's a bit stuck, but it could be just that things aren't aligned that well. Um, let's try this one. You know, you, you don't have to apply hardly any pressure at all, and they just um, they just turn effortlessly. You know, and they don't they don't lock up that often either. 
So I'm really pleased about that. So yeah, for you know, the majority of the faces they all turn pretty much fine, really. So um I'll give you an idea of the size of this. I'll put a regular size 3x3 next to it. So you can see this is just an absolutely giant puzzle. Um, kind of looks almost as though you could fit a 3x3 through these big holes, but it won't fit through. Um, this is, I think this is the biggest um, mass produced puzzle to date. Unless you're going to um, count the 240 piece snake as a twisted puzzle. Um, this is how it compares to a Tupminx. Now, a Tupminx is considered to be a large puzzle, but this just dwarfs it. Um, and yeah, you can actually fit the Tupminx inside uh, this puzzle. You can fit the uh, you can fit Aeon Star inside the puzzle as well. In fact, that's what I did before I finished assembling this because, like right now, you couldn't put these inside it because the holes aren't big enough. But before I finished assembling this, so like. Uh, this face and the faces around it, they were missing. Um, I wanted to see if I could actually drop um, eight in star inside it, and I did manage to. And I did the same with the Tupminx as well, and I took a couple of pictures for the, uh, the Twisted Puddles forum. So, I guess the only thing left to do now is to scramble this puzzle. Um, I'm not really sure what it's going to be like to solve, to be honest. Um, I did... It's interesting, because a lot of people who are into Twisted Puzzles, um, not people who are just kind of mainly into the speed cues, but people who are into all sorts of different Twisted Puzzles, a lot of them seem to really like the Tupminx. Um To be honest, I didn't really enjoy solving it, because it, it just felt quite tedious. It's like you're just doing the same kind of simple moves over and over again for the most part and then it's like things only get different when you've just got like you know like a few more layers to uh to uh to solve and um, so I'm, ho I'm hoping this won't be the same um i'm not really sure but, but to be honest even if it is boring to solve i'm still glad that i've got it because it just looks really really nice it just you know it's just a a really nice puzzle to have out on display so yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to be that easy to solve or that difficult or whatever, but um, yeah, let's uh, scramble this. So, this is probably going to take quite a while to do, so I don't know, maybe I'll just speed up some of the scramble or um, just edit some of the scramble out of the video. Yeah, it just it just it just moves so well now. And before I lubed it, the movement was really, really, really terrible. I was thinking, there's no way, um, there's no way that lube is going to improve this enough for it to, you know, for it to actually be a usable puzzle. I'm probably just going to kind of. Um, you know, it's like the, the puzzle is probably just only going to be useful as a display piece, and that's it. Yeah, you you do need to. You do need to have things aligned, otherwise parts of the puzzle will lock up. I've not bothered with lubing like these faces and these faces, it's just these big ones that I've lubed.
Yeah, I don't think there's there's any like jumbling or shape shifting on this puzzle. I mean, like I've moved this small face to where it is now, and um, you can't you can't move the, the faces that are connected to it. Um, let's try with one of these. Yeah, there's there's no as far as I'm aware there's no shape shifting or jumbling that you can do on this puzzle. I'm sure when um when Very Puzzle um you know made the topic um talking about this saying, you know, this is our new puzzle and everything and everyone was like, Wow, you know, it looks really cool and stuff. I'm sure there was one or two people kind of saying that um well either asking if it jumbles or saying that maybe it will jumble or something like that I think, I think this puzzle has 62 faces if it doesn't then I'll put up an annotation um, saying how many faces it does have. That's a lot of faces, 62. And you get you get enough stickers to to stick a more than 62 faces because um you know very puzzled they just thought you know um we'll put in a few extra colours so um you know you've got more you've got more choice then. Sometimes if you don't have things aligned properly and you you kind of try and force things to turn, sometimes like these these edges, um, they'll kind of pop off the rail, but it's it's very easy to just pop them back on again. So yeah, basically everything on this puzzle is is a. Uh, you know, it's it's just moving on rails. Yeah, when I was um, when I was assembling this puzzle, I just had this image in, in the head of like when it's fully assembled, the go to to start turning some of the faces, and it just all falls apart. I was just thinking, shit, I really hope that doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, I mean, this this is 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 a really really sturdy puzzle. To be honest, it's like when you don't have it fully assembled, um, it it does really kind of. It does really flex, but then once you get it fully assembled, it's all kind of the structure. It's it's very rigid then, and there's not really much flex in it. Sometimes, even when it looks like everything is perfectly aligned, um, the face still won't turn, and I'm not really sure why that happens. There we go. So 
or as you can see there <clears throat> this is what will sometimes happen Focus. see this edge piece it's popped off the rail there, I don't know if you can see it that well because it looks quite dark on the viewfinder but yeah it's you know this end it's popped off the rail there and you can see it's kinda it's moved over that way quite a lot so all you do is you just um, just kinda just kinda pop it back on like that and now you can see it's, um, it's back on the rail Okay, so the VTI is now fully scrambled, and um, man, it did take a really, really long time to scramble it. Um, there'd be moments when I'd think, okay, I think it's fully scrambled now, and then when looking over the puzzle to make sure it is fully scrambled, I'd notice like a trio of pieces that all match each other, and that happened a lot of times. But now I think it, I think it is pretty much fully scrambled. Um, for the most part, when scrambling it, it was it was pretty fine. There were a few occasions where, you know, certain faces would really lock up, but um, usually once you get things aligned, then they'll move just fine. So I'll uh, give you a close look at this. Yeah, I think this is a very, very impressive looking puzzle. And a uh, very puzzle, they don't sell these puzzles, these particular puzzles um, assembled, they're all basically DIY kits. Okay, so I guess that is about it. Thanks for watching.